As we live in a digital world, we are constantly bombarded with information from all directions. It's easy to get caught up in the endless stream of emails, notifications, and social media updates. However, it's essential to take a step back and assess the content we consume regularly. Are they adding value to our lives or cluttering our minds? In this video, we will explore the benefits of unsubscribing and unfollowing, and how it can lead to a more intentional and mindful digital life. Number 1. Assess Your Digital Space In this day and age, it's easy to accumulate a vast number of digital subscriptions, newsletters, and social media accounts. They can clutter your inbox and feed with information that's irrelevant to you, and it can take a toll on your mental well-being. That's why it's essential to assess your digital space and declutter it, just like you would with your physical space. Start by taking a deep breath and assessing the state of your digital clutter. Open your inbox, social media apps, and streaming services and take note of all the subscriptions, accounts, and groups you're a part of. Consider how often you interact with them and how they make you feel. Do they add value to your life or are they just noise? Once you've assessed your digital space, it's time to take action and declutter. It's easy to feel overwhelmed, but remember that you don't have to do it all at once. Set small goals and tackle them one by one. In the end, you'll feel much lighter and organized. Number 2. Unsubscribe from unwanted email lists It's essential to assess the email lists you're subscribed to and unsubscribe from the ones you no longer find relevant or valuable. Start by identifying the senders whose emails you tend to delete without reading. Look for the unsubscribe or update preferences link at the bottom of the email, which will allow you to opt out of receiving further email. Take your time to go through each email list and unsubscribe accordingly, and remember that a clutter-free inbox can help improve your productivity and reduce digital overwhelm. When you're unsubscribing from email lists, be sure to read the instructions carefully. Some lists may require you to log into your account or provide additional information, such as your reason for unsubscribing. If you're unsure about a particular email list, consider temporarily unsubscribing instead of permanently removing yourself. You can always resubscribe later if you change your mind. Number 3. Unfollow Unnecessary Social Media Accounts Social media can be a great way to stay connected with friends, family, and even the world at large. However, it can also be a source of clutter and distraction, especially if you are following too many accounts that are not serving your needs or interests. Taking the time to unfollow unnecessary accounts can help to clutter your digital space and make your social media experience more enjoyable. First, evaluate the accounts you follow and determine which ones are not adding value to your life. This could include accounts that post content you are no longer interested in, accounts that are overly negative or triggering, or accounts that simply do not align with your values or goals. Next, unfollow these accounts. Most social media platforms make this process easy. Simply click the unfollow or mute button on the account's profile or post them. If you are hesitant to unfollow completely, consider muting the account so that you do not see their posts in your feed, but can still access their profile if needed. Remember that Unfollowing or muting an account does not mean you are rejecting the person behind it. It simply means that you are prioritizing your own needs and preferences and that you recognize the importance of curating a social media feed that supports your mental health and well-being. Finally, consider taking steps to ensure that you are not tempted to follow unnecessary accounts in the future. This could include setting a limit on the number of accounts you follow, periodically reviewing your follow list to ensure that it still serves your needs, or even taking a break from social media altogether if you find that it is causing more stress than enjoyment. Number 4. Organize Your Digital Space In this chapter, we'll explore some tips to help you organize your digital space and streamline your online presence. Clean up your email inbox. Start by going through your email inbox and deleting or archiving old messages. Unsubscribe from email lists that you no longer find useful. Create filters to automatically sort incoming emails into relevant folders. You can also use a tool like Unroll by to unsubscribe from multiple email lists at once. Declutter your social media accounts. Review your social media accounts and unfollow accounts that no longer align with your interests or values. You don't need to follow everyone and it's okay to prioritize your mental health by removing negativity from your feeds. 
Additionally, consider using tools like Facebook's News Feed Preferences or Twitter's Mute feature to tailor your feeds to your liking. Consolidate your online accounts. Having multiple online accounts can be overwhelming, so consider consolidating them when possible. For example, if you have multiple email accounts, consider forwarding them to a single email address. You can also use a password manager to store all of your login information in one place. Organize your digital files. Create a system to organize your digital files, whether it's on your computer or in the cloud. Use descriptive names and create folders to group similar files together. Consider using a backup service like Google Drive or Dropbox to ensure your files are safe and easily accessible. Set boundaries and take breaks. Remember that it's okay to set boundaries and take breaks from social media and email. Schedule times throughout the day to check your accounts and turn off notifications outside of those times. Consider taking a digital detox or a social media hiatus to recharge and refocus your attention. Number five, create a digital decluttering routine. After unsubscribing and unfollowing, the next step in decluttering your digital space is to create a routine that will help you maintain an organized and clutter-free online presence. Here are some tips for establishing a digital decluttering routine. Set a regular time to declutter. Just like with physical decluttering, it's important to set aside time specifically for digital decluttering. This could be a weekly or monthly task that you schedule in your calendar to ensure that you stay on top of your digital clutter. Establish a system for organizing files and folders. Take some time to create a system for organizing your digital files and folders. This could include creating specific folders for different types of files or implementing a naming convention that helps you easily identify what each file is for. This will make it easier to find what you need when you need it. Keep a clean inbox. Your email inbox can quickly become cluttered with unread messages, junk mail, and outdated newsletters. Set aside some time to delete any unnecessary emails and unsubscribe from any newsletters you no longer need. You can also create filters and labels to help you sort through your email more efficiently. Regularly review your digital subscriptions. It's easy to accumulate digital subscriptions whether it's for a streaming service, a newsletter, or a shopping website. Regularly review your subscriptions to ensure that you are only subscribed to services that you are only subscribed to services that you actually use and enjoy. Create a backup plan. While decluttering your digital space, it's important to also consider how you will back up important files and documents. This could include regularly saving files to an external hard drive or utilizing cloud storage services. By now, you should have a clear and organized physical space as well as a clutter-free digital space. Subscribe now to join us tomorrow for Day 8 of our 30-Day Minimalism Challenges, where we'll be exploring how to maximize your productivity with a minimalist workspace. We'll provide you with even more unique and creative tips to help you achieve your minimalism goals. See you then!